what's going on? This is kind of funny. So you're telling me that the bankrupt crypto lender Celsius finds a buyer or a platform to restart it? Man, so you're telling me that uh, they're gonna they're gonna give it? They're gonna try to present a, a plan to the U.S. Bankruptcy Court, the Southern District of New York. Boom! There we go. I love that news. I don't know, man, but for real, that's that's kind of weird. They're trying to sell it to the. Maybe this is something to get more um, influence in Bitcoin. Uh, so the plan proposed a deal with this guy to allow crypto litter to begin returning to crypto assets and customers in June. If approved, uh, the bankruptcy court accepted by a majority of Celsius customers, right? So, I mean, I, I never held Celsius, but under the plan, the users of crypto lender would receive a share of the liquidity stuck on their platform, including the Bitcoin, as per latest reports. Uh, and if you knew, you know, they lost a lot of money on there, man. So, um, there we did. So, Celsius used customer, consumer funds to buy CEL tickets. So, we were sponsored for by Janner and Block Attorney. Man, there we go. So, are we an upward trend? I hope so. Looks pretty good. That's a pretty good breakout right there. Bam. We need to break above. Uh, I think we already did break it. I gotta look at it again. Um, so that high was 23. Yep. We already broke that. Actually, no. 17 more dollars, and that'll be the break for um, that uh, back in uh, August. So after that, we're gonna need to. I mean, there's been a lot of buying in here. Look at this. They went up like crazy right there, right? They said that we are in a. They had that uh, weekly close on the death cross, so, you know, I guess we'll see where it goes. These are just some of the levels I was looking at today. Do some trades, but, well, they decided to go the wrong way, so it is what it is. Chart that I really like, man. It's like uh, it's telling you like uh, let's you just jump to like the minute chart, for instance, right? Um, it's telling you that uh, obviously we can we can see it going right now. It's going like this, and it's going like like that. So it should in this area go up or down, right? But we're in the, we're in the green, so it should continue to go. We just have to keep breaking. We got to keep break. We have to actually go above this. This is obviously the minute chart, um, you know. So on, the, on, the, on that chart, it really looks like we need to break above it. Uh, now this is another one I uh, stumbled across. So I was just looking around, seeing what's good and stuff like that. Um, you obviously need the RSI on this, this chart right here, but. Uh, one you know um, so we got the bottom resistance the top resistance right and we got the uh, yeah, Gaussian channel go through there so on this type of chart we can see we gotta get it to go up here and stay green like a green candle like over here so it broke through look see how it goes one two three and then up and it broke above it it couldn't it didn't it, it, it actually traded all the way up there, but then it came back down. So, you know, that was the day's high. And since then, we've been kind of trickling down. And you can see how it's been going. I kind of like, uh, and that one's called uh, uh, Polygon Box. So you can kind of see what's going on. Got you know you can 30 minutes. It's gonna load. Yeah. Saying it's going down. But we 
gotta we gotta basically get through one, two, three, four, five channels. So we gotta continue to it's going down, it's going up and down, and then we gotta break them. So basically gotta go from the top there all the way to right there. And then the bottom, that red one, to this one. So and it's hitting the levels, right? The next bottom level. Um, would be right there. And if we break below this one right here, 23348, it's just going to continue to go south. Okay? But if we can break the momentum and break above the red one, we should maintain it, right? And continue to maintain and keep going up. But you guys know how Bitcoin works. It's, it's crazy, dude. You know, it's got to... Um, I mean, we're still green. You know, from the... Right in, this, right in this range, man. We've been going... Right? And another thing to look for is obviously there was a lot of volume in this area, right? So we're slowly um, we're gaining the volume in right there. Um, around the 4th of January, right? And that's when it started, and that's when it shot up on the RSI. It was uh, overbought and it came back down a little bit and now it's going back up. So from the original chart, they post that one in a second. Another cool one I like right here is we can see like the up-down volume, right? So that is um, the indicator up-down uh, volume right there. And there's also, you know, tons of other ones you guys can use. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I like to use the ones where like the community strips, right? So if you take like the biggest right here right let's see what this guy has all right well there's a lot of people follow that one so you know and there's there's tons of different ones you can use you know what I mean then you guys can come in here and do editors top pick uh, what's the top what's the what's the most trending uh, and that's how I found the Lux Algo guys the top the lazy bear okay there's tons of them. You can just keep clicking if you have them. Another guy that I like is um, the kick. So you know, I'll just have this on here. Have a little page over on my other side. You know, tell me how you like the video and uh, what else you want to see. Um, I was hoping to get in some uh, better trades today, but you know how it is. 